12 news cameras witnessed workers in protective gear being disinfected at the site where millions of bird flu infected chickens are being composted near Palmyra and trucks being sprayed down as they left the site Wednesday. Lyle and Kay Broughton live just across the road. Groundwater is the big issue. I mean, that's, that's the main issue here. They've been trying to get answers about any possible contamination of their groundwater and well. Recently, the state did supply them and neighbors with water test kits. We did get the kits. We did take the samples. The results of their baseline test aren't complete yet, but 12 News took their concerns to state officials who spoke on camera for the first time since the start of the outbreak. How much of a concern is groundwater contamination and well contamination? We are, feel very confident that the risk to any groundwater is virtually nothing. But the recent discovery of the virus in wild birds in several counties, including Milwaukee, raises another concern. Because it's been identified in wild birds, how likely is it that there will be other outbreaks? We're definitely all on high alert. As I mentioned, these wild birds are, are migrating through and we know that will continue to happen over the coming weeks. Meanwhile, Governor Tony Evers said Wednesday the state has yet to see any signs of bird flu in humans, but is watching. We're monitoring specifically to make sure that there are there's no uh, transmission of that disease to humans. In Jefferson County, I'm Kent Wainscott, WISN 12 News. The state health department says it has tested several people who were in close contact with the infected birds. So far, all have tested negative.